I want to I want to ask you this before we move on to the AFC West. News came out about the, the Commanders. They traded Jahan Dotson to the Philadelphia Eagles. They were able to get a I think a third and a fifth, but they traded away some seventh round picks. I believe it was. What is your thoughts on the move? How do how do you feel about the Commanders trading away Jahan Dotson um, to the Eagles? I don't think Jahan Dotson is very good. Personally, he 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 really didn't show anything last year to really yeah. give me the impression that he's like some really good player. He was fighting for reps with Olamide Ol Ol Zacchaeus and mm -hmm. who's that other receiver? I don't even remember the other receiver that's on the on the Commanders. Isn't is but it, yeah, I don't uh, know Luke McCaffrey and Deami Brown. Oh yeah, Deami Brown. That's who it is. But I mean, listen, this doesn't put the Eagles over the top like some people would think i mean he's no. he's he's a solid player like he was going to get cut more than likely if this trade didn't happen mm -hmm. so i mean i don't i don't think this makes the eagles any world beaters or anything i don't think they're better than the niners i still don't think i don't think they're better than the lions i still don't believe that they're better than the packers they they might not even be better than us but mm. I mean, it's, i'm sorry what it is like everybody wants to praise how we for doing the most simple stuff that everybody like all of like he's literally tapped in with the fans and what they think is the right move or good move and everybody's giving him credit for that. Like look at look at the last uh, people he traded for. Darius Leonard was a bust. Kevin Byard he was cooked food. Yeah, he was for sure. <laughs> who who else? Who it was probably some somebody else I can't remember, but like. James I mean, Bradbury. He had one solid year, but all the ball knew was that we knew that was a fake all pro year. <laughs> I mean, yeah, like all these dudes that they 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 were like John Dawson, he's not moving the needle. He can he can barely catch. I mean he has trouble know. separating as well. Yeah, I just don't know. I don't know what fans are expecting from him. They talk about now they talk about they have the best wide receiver trio in the league. I'm like, so, what, what? Are you, what are you watching? What are you what what have you been watching the past year? I don't think I can. I don't think there's a single highlight Jahan Dotson has against the Eagles. Yet they all jumping up and down in excitement to mm -hmm. to get for acquiring him. I, I don't. I don't see this doesn't move the needle in my opinion. Yeah. So I agree with you. My thing is, is that you know, you know how it is where you go from. I just don't a, believe in trading in divisions. I. I mean, I agree with you too. But if 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 you feel like that that player is not good i mean and you can get the best trade package are you really fearful that they're going to go to a new team and cook your team i think dan quinn he's probably like look he can't separate against our best corners and our best corners are trash mm. what do you think you're going to do with the what do you think you're going to do with the eagles this is all this is all like you know he, he's going from a toxic environment to a winning culture. The, you know, the, the typical they said he was the toxic environment. That's what I'm saying. Like I, I was they watching said he clips. Had bad attitude or something like that, or bad demeanor. I was watching clips and they were just breaking down one. There was one clip where he was having trouble blocking. There was another clip where he was having trouble separating. So Man, I just don't see it. Like, if he can't catch, if he if he's having trouble catching when he was supposedly the best, he had the best hands in the draft, which was just funny as hell to say. Like, come on now, and he has trouble separating. How is he? How is he going to function on the Eagles? How is he going to function on the Eagles in the slot if he has trouble separating and and he has trouble catching the ball? Do, My goodness, he, do, I hope they don't expect Kellen Moore to scheme anybody open because that ain't happening. There was a stat. I, for, I, I forget where it happened, the stat. But it was something about, I don't know if it was separation percentage or something. And I remember like Jalen Tolbert was on there. It was some other just wide receivers that were on there that are, that are just not good. And Jahan Dotson was a part of the list as well. And I'm just like, man, like I just don't see it. First round talent just going out of the window. They could have had Chris Olave. 
and they decided, you know what, we're going to trade down. We're going to get a couple of third round picks that they did and nothing with. We'll get Jahan Dotson. Like I'm like, yo, what are you doing? Like everybody knew that the right pick was Chris Olave, and they decided we're going to get Jahan Dotson. I'm like, a lot of the draft knowers were looking at him like Jahan Dotson. He's supposed to be supposed to be a projected late first, early second round pick, and you reach for him in the middle first round. Why? It just was weird. It made no sense to me because I'm looking at Chris Olave and I'm thinking to myself, like, after Chris Olave, there's a gap. Go back to that draft. There was a clear gap after. Wait, did JSN get drafted after? Wait, no. Where did JSN? Okay, okay. JSN was last year. Sure. Okay, okay. I was just trying. To... So, yeah, after Chris Olave, there was a gap because if, if I'm not mistaken. I believe that was the Traylon Burks draft. Yeah, so, was, like. It was. Um, after Chris, o, it was like, wasn't that Gary Wilson? Yeah, Chris Gary Olave, Wilson, Chris Olave, Jameson Williams. Yeah, yeah. And then after draft. that, it was Jahan Dotson, Traylon Burks, and then I think we go on, didn't go in the second round. That's Drake was like, London oh. was in that draft class too, wasn't he? Oh, oh, yeah, Drake London. Okay, so after those dudes, then Jahan Dotson, it was Traylon Burks, and then I think the second round came around, it was like Christian Watson. George Pickens, um, yeah, uh, and then um, what was the Sky Moore? Like, mm -hmm. so like there there was a gap after Chris Olave, and for whatever reason, the Commanders thought, you know what, we're gonna trade down Ron Rivera, Ronald McDonald, just completely sabotaging that team. Like I thought, Jay Gruden was bad. Jay Ronald McDonald makes Jay Gruden look like a competent head coach. Because it's just some of the moves he was making. The fact that they made the playoffs as a seven and nine team, and he was able to stay as the coach for what was it, two, three extra years, is is egregious. It's absolutely egregious. He he real life is a dinosaur in today's game. Like when he was the head coach of the Panthers, they had day, I think Dave Gettleman was the GM like it was just just so much stuff going on man and Ron Rivera really he really handicapped that team and sabotaged the commanders I thought Dan well, Snyder was the problem but Ron Rivera was also the problem as well and it's a good thing they finally moved on from him I think Dan Quinn he's going to be significantly better I don't know I don't know if he'll um, improve when it comes to the draft area but Oh, I, I expect him to be better than Ron Rivera because Ron Rivera, he was just pulling, he was he was just blindfolding himself, pulling pulling names out of a hat and saying, "Hey, look, we'll we'll get him," because every draft pick that Ron Rivera has been involved with in the drafting process has not panned out. Like they all stink. Emmanuel Forbes, Jahan Dotson, you name it. It's just embarrassing. Yeah. Sam Howell, like, come on, man, like. Yeah, now they're trying to move Jamin Davis to edge. You he can't got an edge up. rushing bone in his body. Yeah, you can't you can't make this stuff up, man. It's it's just embarrassing. Just let me be.